Yo! Wait a minute, this is a bad intro. Yo! Yo, what's up, TGG gang? Nah, I was playing. Yo, what's up, TGG gang? Back again with another video, baby. You know what I said? Check out the drip. Check out the drip. Check out the drip. Woman, for the one time. For the one time. Today's video. Today's video. I'm going to be showing y'all how to drift. I know I'm, I'm supposed to do the trolling vids. I'm supposed to do the trolling vids. I don't feel like doing no trolling vids today. I've been getting a lot of trouble with them bitch. Nah, I'm saying. But I don't, I ain't trying to do that. A lot of y'all been seeing me in games and me telling me, yo, you know what I'm saying? How you drift? How you do the drifting? How you, you know what I'm saying? How you hit the drift? Today, I'm going to be teaching y'all how to do the drift. You know what I'm saying it ain't gonna be a long video like that. I'm gonna show y'all how many cars you could do the drifting and how many stuff you could do the drifting. I, I chose the charger because, like, come on, who don't want to drift the charger? Hold on, let's check out this car real quick. All right, y'all. Come on, but who don't want to drift? Who, who wouldn't want to drift this bad boy right here? Who wouldn't want to drift this? But yeah, um, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to drift this car because this car is really fun to drive and boring. Let's get into this video. <laughs> All right, y'all. Um, before you get into drifting, uh, hold on, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. All right, y'all. Before you get into the drifting, you're gonna want to have I don't know where well, y'all a lot of you have tried drifting, but before you get into drifting, you're gonna have to turn your graphics to five. Like put it in five. Because even if you're in your vehicle and you put it to five, you have to step out of the vehicle. After stepping out of the vehicle, put it to five. Like put the graphics to five. When you have it in five, step back into the vehicle. Then if you notice, hold on, let me show you how it works. Let me go automatic real quick. Look at automatic. Hold on. Let me go automatic. If you go automatic. You step into the vehicle if you notice for some of y'all that know how to drift already to do donuts already if you notice if you do donuts look let me turn off traction control if you do donuts it doesn't bring out the smoke it doesn't it doesn't do the whole burn stuff like that that's why because you don't have your graphics up and the game doesn't want to lag that's why it, it doesn't respond to you but like some of y'all have, like, if it's lags whenever you turn your graphics off, then that's a whole different situation. You're going to have to do your donuts with, without the tires mark. But then, if you step out of the vehicle and turn up your graphics to a uh, 5, uh, yeah, you see, you know what I'm saying? You turn your graphics up to 5, god damn. Alright, turn the graphics up to 5, you're going to notice that the drift works. Like, look, let me show y'all. You're going to rev up the car, and then, see? You notice the tire mark. You notice the tire mark. Look at the tire mark. Well, yeah, a lot of people say they learn how to do it in the 4 GT. We get it. The 4 GT is easy, but then I guess my way is much better because it's much easy. So now let me get into teaching y'all how to do the donuts. Step one uh, to do the donuts: hop in a vehicle. Obviously, when you get in the vehicle, you're gonna have to put your car in semi-manual and put it to no semi-manual. Put it to three. Third gear, third gear, whatever gear you want it. I, I would say third gear because third gear is much better. But I, I would recommend third gear. When you put it in third gear, you turn up your traction control. And remember, always make sure your graphics is on five. When you turn on your traction control, a lot of people rev up the car. When you rev up the car, like rev up the car, you notice the car starts spitting flame. What a lot of people do, because usually what is meant to be done is you just let go of the brake and then you turn. But for some people's PC, it, the turning with the A and D, it doesn't respond. So what I do is, when I rev up the car, rev up the car for a little bit when it starts spitting flames, then you let go of the brake an inch, and then you turn with your arrows because the arrows respond. Look, the arrows respond when you click. Um, alright, uh, uh, yeah, let me show y'all how I do the donuts. Even though this videos, all right, let me show y'all how to do it. You go manual, third gear, make sure your traction control is off. Rev up the car. When you rev up the car, you let go of S for a little bit and then turn with your arrow key, whatever arrow you want to use. So I'm gonna show y'all. So I clicked it, I'm revving up the car right now. Let go of S and then click the arrow. When you click the arrow and you notice your car is spinning already, when you use the arrow to turn and you notice your car is spinning already, you let go of S. Once you let go of S, it starts spinning more. It start the car starts spinning more than it's, it's doing. So if you notice, 
and you can all you can also still click it and it still spins but i would just recommend you stay like you let go of s and all that so i'm going to show y'all now how to do it even though like it's majorly frpm but i'm just going to show y'all for fun but i'm going to show y'all in another vehicle all right all right y'all um this nissan it's it's really i'm not gonna lie it's fun to do it in this nissan for some reason for me i love the charger too because the nissan i'm able to do clean donuts in it i don't know like the donuts make it clean but yeah i'm gonna show y'all uh you glow semi third gear go third gear turn off traction control make sure your graphics is up rev the car up once you rev it up and it starts spitting flame left go of s and then turn whatever way you want to i like this nissan because like I do like clean donuts that could keep the circle open and like I could do it in like a little area I could do donuts in a little area if you want to do like donuts in like a little area make sure you keep your your hand on the S so like you don't you know make the drift circle too wide but yeah if you look at it you see I'm doing a clean donut if you see the little mid the little donut in the middle you could notice the donut in the middle but yeah all right uh i'm gonna show y'all how to do donuts in the middle of the road now all right y'all i'm gonna be uh all right all right y'all i'm gonna be going to the middle of the i'm surprised my actually this stuff is not actually lagging in that type of graphics but yeah i'm gonna be showing y'all oh yeah i didn't tell y'all too for some of y'all that uh you know don't have a good pc you can also step in a vehicle with five graphics and then turn your vehicle to turn your graphics back to automatic if you notice the car is still you know you still have your target smokes you know that's a little tip too for y'all that don't know but yeah i'm just gonna turn mine back to five because i don't know i feel like it's weird when i'm doing the drift without without the graphics up but yeah all right let me show y'all sometimes what i do for fun is in role play service i don't want y'all to do this but i'm showing some of y'all i just want to do it for fun whenever you're in a car chase and you want to troll like i do you know you know why would my family yeah yeah you know i say y'all love me man but yeah, uh, I would just say when you get to a red light to do a burnout, when you get to a red light, rev up the car, turn off your traction control. Don't forget about that. Rev up the car and then let go of it. Once you see the car stops, you up with the gear and just continue. But then if you want to do donuts in the middle of the road, that's a whole different situation. I'm going to show you all how to do that because, hey, you know what I'm saying? We litty out here. We be litty litty out here. But yeah, I'm going to show you all how to do it in the middle of the road. So you pull up to a red light. Change it to semi-manual like always. Make sure traction control's off. Rev up the car. Once you rev up the car, let go of S for a little bit and then turn your with your arrow. Let go of S and then turn with the arrow. Make sure your hand is still on arrow. Make sure your hand is still on the S because you're in a little tight corner. And when you're in a tight corner, you gotta like stay here. But if you're not, if you're not in a tight corner, you can let go of S. That's where the car is gonna spin more. But you're in a tight corner, so just keep your hands on S. And then maybe maybe you, when you notice 12, you can use the S to like, you know, get out. And then you switch, change it to automatic. Yeah, but you just drive off. Uh, like nothing happened. And then you get pulled over. And the car, you, you know, you go through your own stuff. But yeah, uh, I guess that's the whole video. If y'all wanna, if y'all wanna see how I drift in my videos, like, cause a lot of y'all are pretty, y'all said I'm, I know I'm the best drift in the city, you know what I'm saying, bro? I ain't gonna brag about it. But yeah, if you wanna learn how I drift in my videos, comment down below and get this video to at least 100 likes. Let's see this video to get it 100 likes. Cause a lot of my videos, my trolling videos got to 100 likes. Let's see if this video could get to 100 likes. I don't know. Hopefully it does. Hopefully it does. But I'ma say, I'ma say 100 likes. I'ma say 100 likes. And like 100 likes in, uh, I guess this is where the video ends. You know, if y'all want to learn how to drift, get the video to 100 likes. Uh, thank you for 2000 and I don't know, 2300 right now. Thank you, 3k to go. You know, uh, yeah, I love y'all. Peace. Debate.